Since I'm a street poet, well, they say I'm a street poet, I figure the best way to tell my story is through poetry. And, um, and, to, and maybe like five minutes from now or whenever I end, you'll be able to like, I don't know, reflect on it and kind of like look at your life and everybody else's life and kind of like relate. What can you relate, you know, because every, every time I meet somebody, I always try to relate. Like, what does this person have that I can learn, you know? So I wrote this first poem when I was 16 and I was in juvenile hall. I was in juvenile hall. I was barely like coming out. And, um, but I had met Chris Henriksen when I was 14 and I was still in juvenile hall. And um, he was a great mentor of mine and he was, he kind of, he changed my life. Well, Street Poet has changed my life, but like he's been a father figure to me. And um, yeah, and so wherever he's at, you know, just this is for him. So <clears throat> it goes. Where I'm from, crack pipes decide for lost souls. We all feed off the same bowl, little kids take on father roles. Hunger leads to robbery because the lottery's not promised. I once tried to kill a man, I'm that honest. Where I'm from, fear floats in the air. War is declared because the laws are unfair. Murder isn't rare, and nightmares play it all over again. Marijuana smoke, that's about the only medicine. Where I'm from, hearts get colder by the day. As mothers pray, not even x-rays can see the pain I hold. But there's no insurance anyway for a broken soul. Because where I'm from, good food is more expensive than gold. I'm enrolled in a life I feel I didn't choose. I tried, it's nothing but a cheap excuse. But I refuse to lose myself in this mire. Because where I'm from, street poetry and music inspire. Stories expressed through rhymes. Lines that explain hard times. I seek peace in strange places. Circles like this that unite races. Candles burn and sage smoke floats over rocks that bring fate to broken hearts. As old pain gets washed away, where I'm from, we'll be different someday. That's my first poem. My second poem. My second poem. Thank you. So this second poem was when I got out of jail and I really started tapping into my healing. Um, I started going more to street poets and kind of saying no to the gang life uh, that I had been uh, deeply involved in. And so it was, I was walking two lanes, to be honest, because it was, it, was like, it was like I knew I wanted to do good, but then how could I like betray the, the kids or the people that I grew up with? And we were all broken boys, small, growing up in the neighborhood. And um, they didn't have the same opportunities that I had, you know? And I always question that, like, am I, am I really supposed to be going this way? Or am I supposed to be going this way? And so I really started tapping into who I am. So this is when I started sharing my story, a matter of fact. When I started being more open about who I was and I stopped hiding, hiding from people and stopped, like, inventing stuff like, oh, nah, my dad, you know, he's good, he's successful. Oh, my mom, yeah, she's great. And I would lie. I would lie about it because I felt ashamed of who I, not, yeah, a part of who I was, you know. I didn't want to be poor. I didn't want to be, like, gangbanging or whatnot. But here you go. If you knew me, you would know. My father was a heroin addict until liquor took its place. He used to come home late and this mama in her face. My mother worked long hours to support his habit until one day she had it and booted him out. My role model was gone and all I knew was his route. I started smoking and drinking, shot my first gun without thinking. Banging on city walls all the way to juvenile hall. Then I saw my first body drop. My heart stopped this original beat. Fear replaced by heat turned me into a numb human. For a while, I couldn't cry. My feelings died only to be revived in jail. Life without bail, but they left out a nail in my concrete coffin. My little brothers often saw me as their pops because all was all they knew. Soon enough, they started drinking brew and smoking marijuana too. I cried in my cell before I went to sleep. In this wicked world, I was in too deep, dealing with my own demons. 
I questioned my old reasons for living, started forgiving myself for what I felt. Change came in waves. I found a way to write and read to help my heart maintain. I saw my mother cry and bleed, so I wanted to express that pain. My spirit was set free when I wrote my first poem. I know you can hear me. Now I can see clearly. Pen in my hand demanding the truth from what lies buried in my youth. So after I started like tapping into like poetry and started seeing writing as an outlet, for, um, for the things that I was feeling and uh, the things that I was seeing around my neighborhood and uh, with my little brothers just growing up. Um, like I said in my poem, like my father left when I was nine, so my mom had to work two jobs. And um, I, was, uh, I had to take care of my little brothers, but I was a baby too. I was nine. So I would find any excuse to just leave, you know? And, like, and so my brothers grew up by themselves. I grew up by myself. It was, it was just a big mess. It was a mess. And so for a while, I was like, you know what? That's probably how life is, you know? I'm not the only one. Everybody else on the block is the same thing, same scenario, you know? So, but it wasn't. It, it like, I started meeting people, new mentors, great opportunities, and, and I was able to kind of, like, navigate through that, you know? Um, so I wrote this third poem not that long ago, actually, and this is a reflection on where I'm at right now. Grains of hope still remain. Memories invade my brain. When I seek peace, I'm knee deep in the system, like quicksand, forcing me back to the darkness. But I won't fall back in the same mud I did before. I'll walk on a different road, through a different door, wanting more and more change to come. Like people that loved me and kept me going, flowing without me knowing. I pour my story out like water for the thirsty. My heart screams peace with each rhyme I release. The wind and trees, the birds and bees come together for this ritual, making the disconnect to reconnect like war vets with their souls becoming whole in this cold world. I'm warm by my daughter's hugs, my dirty chucks. And there's still grains of hope, even when your daddy's smoking dope looking at life through a microscope. I welcome you to this show where love floats and hearts know. They can finally be away from that beehive of lies, guns and knives. This space is called freedom. My ego died because I couldn't feed him. I'm a newborn with a new spirit, a greater mission, the real me. So that's pretty much my story, who I am. And um, now it's like, I'm, I'm not involved in any of that stuff anymore. Now I do organic gardens. And, uh, in West LA and South LA, and uh, do sweat lodges once a month in Ojai, the second Saturday of every month. And so now I'm shifted all those energies to something else, and I'm able to navigate through life uh, a different way. Now that I have my daughter, I see like I see everything different. She changed my life, to be honest, because um, I grew up from a culture where like it's like you disrespect women, you disrespect men, you know, you disrespect everybody. And um, when I had my daughter, I just remember I, I, like, I cried when she came out because it was like, it's like, I don't want anybody to do the same thing to her, you know? Or like treat her how I used to treat women or how women used to treat me or whatnot. And so now I'm just going to say these last few words. I'm just a young man, you know, walking life, uh, learning from people. And um, I don't know where I'm, where I'm going or where I'm at, really. But... Uh, like, I don't know where I'm at, literally. But, <laughs> but I don't. But, uh, but, I'm, but I'm still fighting, you know? And I'm, I'm not just fighting for me. I'm fighting for everybody else out there that, um, that kind of has had or has my story. And um, just people that need help. So thank you very much.